So if your recording doesn't work, just let me know. Um, because actually, I don't know, uh, I like to put them on YouTube sometimes. And obviously, if you don't want me to put it up there so people can't see it, that's fine. Um, because I've done that with other people. But yeah, just so you can watch it then whenever. Um, so yeah, let me just pull up your old email, um, too. So you're in Tel Aviv? Right, it's, uh, Tel Aviv, Israel. Okay, yeah, yeah, is there, um, is there a lot of, uh, you, you referenced, um, because it seems pretty important to you, um, you referenced the Tel Aviv's, like, local scene of hip-hop. Like, is there a lot there? Yeah, there is actually quite a bit. The scene has become, yeah, it's really blown up lately. Mm -hmm. Um, hip-hop in, in Israel has been around, like, for, I don't know, more than a decade. I mean, a lot more than that, actually. But over the past, I'd say, four or five years, I mean, it's really become, I wouldn't say mainstream, but a lot more towards the mainstream. And, yeah. uh, and people, you know, there's this local scene of uh, people, at least some people that I know, it's like they gather at least once a month, uh, different pubs, bars, whatever, uh, battles, battle raps, and it's not even just battle raps, it's uh, any type of, uh, yeah. there's there a lot of stuff, I can actually send it to you, even though it's not in English, and some of it is in English, because a lot of people are actually, um, you know, they're ex-Americans, like yeah. they're expats that they come, so they do half in English and half in Hebrew. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, that's really good to know, you know, and I like to ask all these questions because really, like, my goal here, right, is not to turn you into, like, the best rapper or the or who I... Uh, that's not even my goal. Oh, 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 okay, good. Yeah, 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 you know, because I'm just trying to say, like, I want to help you become the rapper you want to be, you know, not the rapper I want you to be, or the rapper that, like, an American sitting at home in New York City would want you to be, um, and right. all that other different stuff, so that's why I like to ask about, like, oh, well, is it in Hebrew, or is it in English, like, who are the people in the Tel Aviv scene, you well, know? the thing is, I grew yeah. up in the States, so I grew oh, up did in you? Philadelphia, Chicago. Oh, no, in Philly? Uh, really? I'm in Philly right now, yeah. no way, that's crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I grew up outside of Philly, uh... Where'd you go to school? Yeah. Yeah, just outside of Philly, uh, okay. Lower Marion's where I went to school. Uh, uh, I'm in, I, Lower Marion is 30 seconds that way. That is crazy. Th are you serious? No, no, yeah, we're, we're right up that way. My dad saw Kobe Bryant play and all that, man. I drive by it every day. Kobe Bryant was like, two, years, uh, two years above me in class. Really? Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, that's so crazy. Did you see him? Yeah. I, I don't want to take up your play, your your time, you know? We can talk about it later. Um, okay, okay, so do you, so when you rap, though, you rap in English? Yeah, I do predominantly English. Okay. And I am, like, seriously, like I said in the email? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I've been listening to rap all my life, and it is, it's what speaks to me, it is where I go to, like, whenever I feel down or up or whatever, mm -hmm. it is where I go. And, okay. um, and, you know, I've always wanted to do something with it. I haven't had the guts to do it, and then just this past year, a bunch of stuff just happened, uh, so, um, uh -huh. so I decided to just go for it, right, and, uh, just last week, I went to the first, yeah, first time I actually went up on the mic without any preparation or anything, Oh, that's right? crazy. I, I, so, I, don't, uh, I don't have the guts to do that, man, so, like, for you to do that, that's already a big victory, I feel like, because I would never do that, man, I stay away from stuff like that, you know? Um, yeah, because I get really nervous, uh, in front of people. But did you, okay, so who are your favorite artists then? Because then I like to try to so teach. Right now, I'm, like, really into, um, you know Stefan? Uh, no. I don't think so. I'll send you, uh, I'll send you a link to it. Uh, um, there's this really, really, really nice mix on YouTube. It's called Two Hours of, um, Real and Dope uh, Hip Hop or something like that. Mm -hmm. Really good. And that's really impressive stuff. Um, uh, Brother Ali. Okay. Uh, I'm not into the mainstream stuff. I'm not into the... It's like I'm not... Yeah, I grew up on Snoop Dogg and Eminem and all that type of stuff, but I, it's not me. It's not right? you. It's okay. Not you, like you don't like the messages, like the what they talk about and stuff like that? Yeah, it's not... You see, what I like about Brother Ali is that he's really talking about, like, you know... Um, He's got other things. So I like messages that are. I like it when they actually say it's not ego rap. I'm not like all about yeah, bitches, cars, hoes, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, more yeah. about 
I like the rack where they actually tell a story in a really, really nice way. Like, Nas actually has some really oh, nice yeah. stuff. Um, even, you know, Game has... Oh, yeah. I love that album, the stuff. documentary. Uh, yeah, T.I. actually has this one song. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called... Uh, Jeez, I know the lyrics. I know, I know a bunch of the lyrics, but I don't remember. Uh, um, but you like Ti? Yeah, like I, there, there are some not all, but uh, but some of it. I'm not really into the uh, harsh rap. I like it when it goes on, like the more jazzy beats on um, that type of stuff. Uh, okay, I'm drawing the blank right now. Yeah, but that's it, fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, that's enough for us to kind of go off of anyway. Okay. So, and, and let me just be clear, like, kind of the specific format that you want to put your rap into. Because you said, I don't mean about putting an album in front of huge crowds, but you like, you mentioned freestyling. So when you say freestyling, do you mean improvising off the top, or you just mean like a freestyle? Yeah, off the top of the dome, I'd uh, love to be able to go off the top of the dome. Okay. But, I mean, that is, that is pretty far away from where I am right now, because I've never actually written a lyric in my life. I okay. Mean, just, uh, you know, all I've done is really think about it. Uh, okay. I want to write the lyrics because I do have some, like, great stories to tell. Okay. I mean, in about ten seconds, uh, I'll just tell you, like, a little yeah, bit of yeah. my life stories so that you know a little bit about it, right? So, I grew up in the States, uh, came back to Israel. My parents are both from Israel. I was born in Israel, grew up in the States, uh, came back, uh, had some crazy stuff going on all mm -hmm. through my uh, teenage years, stuff like that. In Israel, Army is mandatory. Yeah, I was in the Army, yeah. Yeah, so I was in the Army. I was actually injured in the Army, uh, broke my neck. Uh, you probably can't really see it from the screen right now, but I'm on a wheelchair. Oh, okay. And, uh, um, and, you know, everything from there, it's like went on. It's like I finished college, opened up a company, had a startup, sold the startup, had a oh, wow. family, all that type of stuff. So it's like... I have a lot of stories going on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where did you go to college then? Uh, it's in Israel. It's called the uh, Technion. It's like MIT's... Uh, uh, Israel. It's MIT's uh, Israeli branch. Okay, much. and... Okay, so what was your startup? Just what did you uh, do? Uh, the one that I have currently going on is about medical devices. It's about oh, wow, that's true. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, okay, that's perfect then. So you want to put these lyrics... Or excuse me, these stories into rap lyrics, kind of. Yeah, pretty much more, of the, less less the professional stuff, more the. Oh yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah, absolutely. You know, um, the stories of uh, your military service and all, all um, all yeah, military that. service. You know, yeah, feeling more more like the, the things like about your soul, like dealing yeah. with shit that people don't really deal with. It's like, uh, you know, everybody's talking about, you know, uh, um. You know, fucking bitches and going out and stuff like that. And for me, it's like, yeah, you know what? You can go fuck a bitch. But, you know, um, I've done that and I have a child. So for you having sex is about that, you know? Yeah, for me, yeah. Like, you know, it's a different look at uh, how you how you look at life from a different angle. Yeah, like, yeah. Differently. And that's, like, I want to okay. show other people that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so, okay. This is perfect then, because I think we've kind of gotten to a place where I can start to give you um, some feedback. So, right before that, though, okay, so you don't have, like, anything for me to look at or to hear of you rapping, though, right? I can actually, here, I can uh, add a recording right now. Yeah, if you would have mind. Actually, I can't. I'll send it to you via email, because I need to cut out. It's a 45-minute long thing, and uh, I it's not all me. I have, like, a minute part they actually recorded me on the mic when oh, okay. I was uh, last week oh cool so, awesome yeah do you have that yeah, can you send it to me I have that and I just need to cut down the portion because I'm not going to send you 45 minutes to listen to oh, okay. it although oh. you might want to listen to the Hebrew stuff just for your own sake yeah okay but, so are you going to do that after our lesson now then I'll do that after the lesson okay yeah yeah that's fine then I'm oh. not looking into one lesson thing just so you know I'm looking into something that goes like in, to build an ongoing relationship that actually you know I can take it for a long ways. It's just okay. the first lesson. I just want to see how, you know, it's like this. Yeah. See what you're dealing with. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. And um, really, I like working better that way, too. 
Um, but okay then, let's talk about freestyling then. Is that okay? That's what you want to do? Yeah, I was actually thinking more, um, for me, the way I look at things is I try to break it down into what would be like the, uh -huh. the fundamentals that I would need in order to give me, so that I can actually go ahead and like do homework uh, yeah. with myself in order to like prepare so that, let's say, I don't know, next week I come like more prepared and then it's like we can do like on a weekly basis and progress like that. Yeah, so, yeah, or, yeah. Okay, me, okay. So I'm thinking about lyrics, you know, writing lyrics, writing rhyming. For me, I always rhyme on the last, like, the last syllable of the last word of the line. It's like, yeah. you know, uh, pretty much, uh, you know, childish rhymes like that. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I, and, you know, all the rap that I listen to, all the hip-hop that I listen to, it's like, that is probably 1970s hip-hop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's where it started. Right, and it's progressed. Progressed like a whole lot. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how to do the. And I'm sure there. Yeah, you, know, you can put it into a framework. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the, yeah, that all sounds good to me, and I agree with it 100. percent And I think I can help you work on that really a lot. I just wanted to make sure that kind of freestyling was the direction you wanted to head in, and not necessarily like songs, right? Actually, no. I think that if I mean, what would be in your experience, I mean, if I go through songs, yeah. then I'd be able to freestyle better, probably, because from the songs, I grow my repertoire of, you know, understanding how things rhyme with one another, or stuff like that, or not, I don't know, it's up to Um, yeah, you know, it's a little odd, because separating, because I think, to me, songs and freestyling are really different. So, yeah, I mean, obviously they'll help with one another, but, like, on songs, you just really can't recreate kind of, like, the pressure of the situation, you know? It's almost like, uh, I'm a big basketball fan, so it's, like, almost like how you can't recreate the pressure of, like, a Game 7 in the, game. Yeah, at the right. NBA Finals, you know? So I'm just asking, for you, it kind of, honestly, you might start to see um, greater personal payoff and feel better about doing some of the things you want to do if you do start freestyling. Um, because that's just okay. immediate, you know. Like, you could, 20 minutes from now when we get off, you could start freestyling right away and maybe start getting some of these things to come out of you, um, the stories that you want. Um, so we can work it a little both. Uh, All right, so we'll start like that, and then we'll transition into writing lyrics. And, yeah, and, yeah, know. okay. Okay, yeah, because there are some big, okay, so rap is like this big cloud, right, and underneath it you have both songs and freestyling, so obviously there are things about rap that will help you with both, um, but, so like rhymes, right, we, you and I can do a lot with rhymes right now, I feel like, um, and because we only have like 16 minutes left, it might be best to start there, because it's actually not as complicated as some of the other things, like bars and beats and stuff like that, that takes a little more while to get into, um, so, why don't we start there, kind of, and I'll give you, actually, some good homework um, that can help you do it. Because, you know, in freestyling, you know, it's a little paradoxical, right? Because you hear, like, oh, they're coming up with this freestyle on the spot. But really, that's only what it looks like. That's not what's happened. It's like muscle memory, you know? It's like you have these rhymes that you go back to all the time. You have these lines that you drop a lot. You know, yeah, it's like shooting a free throw over and over. Like, yeah, the free throw itself takes only one second to shoot, but they spent thousands of hours practicing that free throw so would, they would make it, right? Um, right. So that's a little bit about what it's like. So rhymes then. Um, so I will get to rhymes in like 60 seconds. But first, uh, your specific musical knowledge. Do you know how to count beats and bars? Yeah, I played saxophone and cello and guitar. Wow, okay, you are already way ahead of most people then um, when they come to me. Okay, because counting beats and bars is really important. Um, and, yeah, so then, like, let's get to rhymes, okay? So it sounded like before, like, you were kind of Although a little... Maybe, maybe it's good to just go over, just, like, in a two-second fundamental type thing, right? It's like, if you're talking about, like, a four-on-four type thing... It's exactly, like, yeah. yeah. Four yeah, four beats to a bar, um, yeah, four beats to a bar, a 4-4 four, four time signature, uh, right. and then, you know, 16 bars to a verse, uh, right. choruses are usually eight bars, then you go 16 verse, eight, eight chorus, 16 verse, eight chorus, 16 verse, eight chorus, and that's a song. Okay, well, uh, alright, that's good, uh, I mean, that's how it's done in hip-hop, Yeah, exactly, right. yeah, yeah, that, that's just like the real, 
basic. And honestly, that's part of the reason why rap and hip-hop has gotten so big, is because that is really the only formal musical theory you need to know. And of course they do things that are more complicated than that. They just couldn't use words to explain it to you, like polyrhythm or, or fancy words like that. Um, okay, so... So for freestyling then, um, because a lot of people even freestyle out their songs, you know, like they'll freestyle and then they'll take their best words and then put it on a song. So for a lot of them, freestyling is like the, uh, the, uh, the fundamental, right? So, um, we can do some, um, in order to get to, um, uh, writing, I'm just looking up something online real quick. Um, so... And again, like I was saying before, it's like, uh, and this should help you. This is a, um, yeah, okay, this is a random word generator. Because uh, I have to look up some of the tools that I've given other people I've worked with before. So in order to get you writing lyrics, um, and some of them I texted them, which is why uh, I have my phone out. Um, in order to get you writing kind of right away, you know, what we have to do is just make it like really immediate. And not necessarily start filtering yet what is, um, like, what is quote-unquote good and what we're kind of just working with, right? So, like, free, so like with freestyling, uh, well, let me back up a little bit and talk about rhymes, right? Because, like you said before, you know, actually, it's really good because you at least understand why your rhymes are the same way every time. And so what did you say before when you said it? You said that they were all short, and at the end of your sentence, at the end of the sentence, at the end of the syllable, one syllable long, at the end of the bar. And in a weird way, that actually shows how much you already know about rhymes, right? Because rhymes can be categorized according to five different things. Um, and I have a Word document. I don't think I um, uh, sent it to you because I don't think you can send... I, and I'll send it to you now, uh, but it's just hard to send documents over the um, lesson face. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the platform. Uh, rap analysis article. I can give you my mail if you want. Yeah, um, I might even be able to um, drop it in the uh, and, and that little text thing on the side. I just give. Um, I just like to take notes. Uh, also, just so you can come back. Yeah, so that's called the Elements of Flow, which is a document I made, which kind of breaks down how to categorize every rhyme. Um, and so there are five um, different ways I think of categorizing rhymes, uh, so it's rhyme length, rhyme order, uh, position, frequency, and the last one, which I always forget, um, sorry, it has to open, uh, yeah, uh, okay, well, well, while it's, um, length, frequency, oh, number, um, uh, well, number is the same as frequency. Okay, yeah, so that's a pretty good place to start, right? Um, so these are all the different ways you can categorize rhyme. So obviously you can have short rhymes, like cat with hat. Or you can have um, um, long rhymes, right? So like Jean Grey has an eight-syllable rhyme. So cat with hat, you know, cat, hat, just one syllable. Jean Grey has, has like an eight-syllable rhyme that's like, Kiss, uh, misconstrued, miss my aim, you lose. Kiss the shoes, diss my name, hiss, booze. And so it's really weird. Like, like that's just, like, my brain just neurons just start firing. So, um, but, but, like, all eight of those syllables are rhyme, right? So it's, um, misconstrued. I'll just write it out real quick. Miss my aim, you lose. Just, um... Kiss the shoes. Kiss my name. Kiss booze. Okay, so misconstrued, miss my aim, you lose. Kiss the shoes, diss my name, hiss booze. You click his food, you click his fools, litter with and jigaboos. Okay, so then she keeps it going. So that's just a really example. I think that's pretty straightforward length. But then also you can do stuff with order, right? Because that eight, those are all eight syllable rhymes. But if you were to give them, um, each of those rhymes their own, each of those own rhyme sounds their own representation, it would look in the same, or it would be in the same order every time, right? So, miss lines up with kiss at the start of the right. next sentence. Uh, kun of construed rhymes with the, and, uh. tho and those are both the B's. Then strewed is rhymed with shoes, and that's the C. Okay, but then, um, but obviously you can, 
Uh, it's it's way more complex, more complex than this. But then you can um, you can actually vary uh the order of your of those rhyme syllables, right? And that would be really hard to do freestyling, but that's kind of where um you you would want to end up. So we won't start there because actually going back to like your simpler rhymes, it's um. Yeah, and so if you read that article, so like Eminem's uh, rhyme scheme is, um, damn, sorry, my computer's going a little slow. Um, Eminem's rhyme scheme, like on the opening of Lose Yourself, is a lot more complex than that. Um, so for right. example, his is, and I'm going to back up, come on, man, where is the... Well, I don't... You, you, know, you know that song? Of course. Yeah, yeah, man, that's a good one. Yeah, so what I did was was I counted out every rhyme vowel, and this is the order of it. You know, when he starts, uh, what's the start of the song? Uh, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. That's the order of his rhyme schemes, though. A, B, C, 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 A, B, C, A, B, B, C, A, B, C, D, 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 A, B, C, A, A. So obviously that's, like, super complex, right? That's more right. complex than what Gene Gray was doing. Um, and so then position is also something you referenced. You know, you can have rhymes at the start of your sentences or rhymes at the end of it. Um, so Young Buck has a line that goes like, I came in the game knowing people are going to hate me just for the simple fact they know that I'm a rider. So obviously right there, the rhymes are really on the inside. And he doesn't even have a rhyme at the end yet. It's just, I came in the game knowing people are going to hate me just for the simple fact they know that I'm a rider. So that's position. So, or you can have it at the end. And frequency is, we've already seen that, it's just how much you rhyme. So, this is like the framework, right, when we listen in. So, so some of your homework, I mean, we could even do this now. Um, someone who switches up rhyme schemes a whole lot. Um, I mean, we could start out, if you wanted to, why don't you look at one of my favorite songs, um, Kanye West, Jesus Walks. And, like, oh, yeah. d describe the rhymes in Kanye West, Jesus Walks, ooh, third verse. Uh, but that's, I need something, no, that's fine, that's fine. Third verse, according to the, I don't know what they're called, criteria of length, order, position, and frequency. Oh, oh, the fifth one is uniqueness, but that's a little hard to measure. Um, you know, like, cat and hat are both one-syllable rhymes, but if you're gonna rhyme, for like, Q with Rue, that's more unique, but you can't really, you know, right, yeah, get it. yeah, qu quantify that. Okay, so, like, this is how I kind of want you to think, right, because when I'm listening to a song, I think of it as, like, a radar that's just always going around, you know, and I'm, and my mind is counting off one, two, three, four, one, two, and those are the beats of the bar, and then also, at the same time, I'm keeping track of sentences, and I'm doing all of this so I can measure their rhymes in these ways according to length frequency, um, order, and position. And so, now though, so I want you to always think like this, but now let's get to the writing, right? How do we write like this? And so the answer is, and again, freestyling, like you said, you, you, you laid it out really perfectly in your email. You were like, I believe everything can be broken down into fundamental skills that can be learned, and I absolutely agree with that too. So the, one of the fundamental things we have to break freestyling down into is what we've been talking about this whole time which is rhymes, right? Because it's like in rap, you need two things. You really only need two things in order to make good rap. But the thing is, it's kind of hard to get these two things. But that is a good delivery and rhymes, right? Like those are our, the two-pronged approach we're taking right now to tackling freestyle. So the delivery w will come mostly with practice. And I'll give you feedback on it too. Um, and we don't have quite enough time to go into different deliveries and timbre and stuff like that. Um, but as far as rhyme, you know, that's what we want to get to, is just put, linking rhymes together in a way that makes sense. And although it sounds like that's easy to do, obviously when you're improvising, freestyling off the top, it's not quite as easy, right? So I don't know, um, yeah, so let me send it to you one more time. But this is kind of, along with that um, Kanye West thing, and I can give you... Um, you know, I don't know if you want to meet like weekly or bi-weekly, um, but we could. I do weekly. I have a real. This is really important to me. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Uh, for me, 
this is like something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I really, like I said in the email, I really am willing to put the work into it. Okay, I mean, perfect. Seriously. So for me, a weekly thing is great, and I'm probably, and I see that by the time, I mean, like, time goes fast, right? So uh, maybe an hour instead of half an hour would probably yeah, be actually, better. Yeah, actually, yeah, that that usually does work much better just because, like, 30 minutes, you know, like, I'm kind of just hitting my stride and we're about to get off, you know? And this is the first time, so we don't, I, you know, there was kind of some background. If we, if we can let this right now for an hour somehow, I don't know if it's possible. Like, yeah, 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 do you want to maybe just sign up, um... Yeah, maybe just I'm right stop. now and, uh, and add like uh, I'm I'm right now on uh, lesson phase. Okay. Right? Yeah. Can you sign up for my nine thirty slot? How do I do that? I'm going. To get, it's like it's per se, I'm in lessons. I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to click on your name. I guess, right. I yeah. Guess. Maybe so. just make a completely new lesson at nine thirty, and we'll just keep going. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on. It says in progress. Here, Martin Connor. Yeah, do you want to do yeah. that? Yeah, because it's not, it's not giving me any option for doing it today. So I'm okay, yeah, just sign up for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. I think it's like 9 till 9.30. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, you can do that again, and I'll just approve it. But yeah, this is perfect, because then we can keep going a little bit. I'll just do a one lesson. You know what I'll do? I'll do 20 lessons in advance. Okay, okay? perfect. And on a weekly, uh, update the cart. Why isn't it letting me? Yeah, here it is. Uh, that's okay. Submit payment. Uh, I've read. What's the base term? Submit payment. Yeah. Good. You should, uh, your eyes are processed. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Good? Yeah, we're good. All right, all right. Um, because I did, um, okay, because, yeah, I, yeah, and, like, you seem like a really motivated person, um, so, uh, his verse, um, okay, so I just gave you some more songs of really different rhyming styles then, because, like I said, like, like, I think you'll really get the Jesus Walks one done. Oh, yeah, quick. that's definitely one of my favorite artists as well. Yeah, 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 I love that stuff, especially if you're trying to talk about, you know, like, personal and important stuff, um. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just gave you kind of... Yeah, yeah, so I just gave you more homework. Um, uh, but, I mean, more versions of the same homework. So, it's Kanye West, Jesus Walks, third verse. Most Deaf Monster music, his last verse. Big Boy, uh, the Outcast song called Equemini, the second verse. And Eminem, Bitch Please, uh, it's called Bitch Please Part 2. Um, uh, and there are other people on it, like Snoop Dogg's on it, I think Exhibit's on it, Dr. Dre. Um... Uh, but his verse, his full verse, he might do the chorus. Um, so right. yeah, and just trying to analyze all these rhymes because I gave you these four artists really purposefully because they all have extremely different styles of rhyming. Um, but then the other thing is, um, and let me send it. Yeah, that random word generator, right? Because again, we're talking about, and this is great because now I'll have a little bit more time to talk about your, um, uh, your. Vo the other half of this two-pronged approach, the good delivery um, thing. And so... Well, that's probably where I lack the most. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? Yeah, but that's really interesting because it's like, as soon as you start talking about what you want to talk about, the, the delivery will come of its own. So, so it might seem like these things are treated differently, like, oh, you know, you got to work on your lyrics and then separate your delivery. And to a certain extent, that's true. But to uh, more, but the deeper truth I think is that like when you're talking about what you want to talk about, when you have better songwriting skills, then your delivery comes along. Um, so to keep it to rhymes for now, like like we're saying, like you know, it's really muscle memory, right? That you you have to train your mind to start making these connections so that it can do it 
pretty much spontaneously and instantaneously in the um, context of a freestyle, you know, where there are people waiting to hear what you say, so you don't have time to pick up your notepad and be like, oh, I could talk about my military service, and service rhymes with nervous, and then I can put those together, you know, like, you gotta do it on the spot, right? So, so, yeah, so like, the military service was my purpose, and then I just got nervous and oh, up oh, up and hey. So, like, I could go like that. Yeah, yeah. Right? I can't, I can't really, uh, I, I can do the simple rhymes like that, you know what I mean? I just can't really make it more interesting. Okay, 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 then, okay, because the thing I was going to tell you, and it sounds like you might already have this down then, was just to start, oh, okay, was, was to start generating rhymes. Well, well, yeah, okay, so I sent you a random word generator, because what I've done with people before is like, you know, so it generates six words, right? So, and so, like, one of them is grid. And so, like, let's say grid, um, you know, just, and I would ask you just to rhyme it with anything, like lid, an omnivore. Um, wow, that's a great, MF Doom would rhyme off that word. Uh, but, omnivore, uh, I, he was just asking for more. Yeah, yeah it's like, oh, nice, omnivore. Uh, yeah, uh, omnivore, because I'm the core. Ooh, I'm the bore. Yeah, so whatever. But anyway, so it's, it sounds like you're, like, looking for something else, right? So let me... Um, but that, that's good, because I do need to hone it. It's like, just like I said, I need to, I mean, I've ne it's all stuff that I've been thinking about in my head. I've never actually, like, put any structure to it. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, then let's take this one, right? Let, let's take this word and talk about it a little bit. Because, you know, one of the great things about also being, uh, in addition to helping people with their rap, is also that I work as a music journalist. So one of the great things about that is that I can actually ask them the questions like you and I are dying to know, you know. So I've gotten the chance to ask Talib Kweli about, like, how he writes his rhymes and stuff like that, right? So one of the things I asked him was, um, uh, oh, I took a line, this was cool, I took half a line from, um... Uh, I took a line from an MF Doom song that went, uh, not your everyday hologram, because I wanted to pick a, not your everyday hologram, and I picked, I wanted to pick a line that I thought to live what Kuali would have written himself, and then I asked Kuali on the phone to complete it. I pretty much asked him to freestyle for me, uh, which he probably was not expecting at all. <laughs> um, so I was like, oh, oh, so, so, so MF Doom has this line, like, not your, it's something, something, not your everyday hologram. And I asked Talib Kweli to, to complete it. And he said, this is the line Kweli came up with on the spot. Uh, can't see through it. Can't see through it. Kevin Bacon, no hollow man. I can't believe he came up with that on the spot. Okay, because Kevin Bacon plays the hollow man in the movie. The hollow man. You, you know, and the hollow man is that comic book character who stays invisible. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So this is one of the kind of things of rhyming to give it more structure, right? Because what is it? Hologram and Hollow Man, they sound really similar. And that's why it's a good rhyme, right? right. It's, that, it's that Hologram is one word, and Hollow Man is two words. And Hollow and Hollow both sound the same, but are spelled differently. So, so this is where, like... When your mind has to stop because it can't quickly parse a rhyme you just heard according to those four criteria I just gave you, that's when you know it's a good rhyme. Like, when your mind is like, wait, hollow man, hologram is one word, which makes me think the, wor the word it's going to be rhymed off of is one word, too. But wait, right. hollow man is two words. So then you have to go back and you almost have to replay the sentence in your head again, right? So this is how you give it structure. So like omnivore, you know, you and I kind of on the spot came up with two different interpretations, right? You said something where more was rhymed with vor. And that, and that's pretty good. You, like, it'll work. Um, but the thing is, in omnivore, the accent comes on the first syllable, right? You don't say omnivore, you say omnivore. So that's why it makes it hard. In order to really rhyme more, you would have to say it like omnivore because I am the one who eats meat more. Or, you know. Yeah. So, but you would have to pronounce it omnivore. And so that kind of um, purposeful mispronunciation of a word has to be handled really carefully in rap. Because it's like, well, were they not creative enough to come up with a real rhyme, or are they doing it on purpose? And, you know, rap fans will always 
hold you to really high standards. Uh, right. And so they'll more often go to the other one. So, I mean, it's not like this thing doesn't happen, right? Because Kanye West has a line like, um, now, uh, uh, Spanish girls saying no hable ingle, and everybody want to run to me for they single. So he's mispronouncing single as single, right. right? But we know that he's doing that on purpose because he really only does it once. And plus, he's Kanye West, so we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt anyway, you know. But you yourself don't really have either of those things working for you, right? Like, you didn't just release college dropouts, so people aren't going to, yeah. So people aren't going to buy what you're saying. So that's why I took the approach I did. You know, I actually did exactly what Talib Kweli did. Try, uh, uh, did. I tried to find words that sounded exactly alike to omnivore, and that also fit with its accent structure of strong, weak, weak. Omnivore, right? So, omnivore, I went with om the core. And again, I should say, like, when we're coming up with these rhymes right now, wh this is what I was talking about before. The filter, in terms of, like, what you're saying, should be turned down a little right now, you know? Because, like, om the core, that doesn't make... Yeah, it doesn't make it much sense, but we're not looking at what makes much sense right yeah. now. We're looking at it exactly. how it is. Yeah, so yeah. omnivore, to me, I'm the core. I mean, MF Doom does that kind of stuff all the time, you know, where he'll take a word that had that sounds really homophonically close to another word and then parse it again. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's a really good... So omnivore, I'm the core. And this is kind of how you can start to give yourself structure to your raps. So, so any questions so far? We making... Good sense so far. No, we're making good progress. We're, ma I mean, it's like, not. Um, I'm getting a lot of theory in here, and that's really good. Yeah. Because that's giving me a lot of uh, things to think about when I get to go back and listen to like the stuff that you said and, and stuff that I listen to. You know, so I'll start thinking about it in this. You know, yeah. In, in terms of uh, of uh, you know, not even rhythm and cadence or something like that. More uh, what you mentioned. I'm just going to go back scroll up on that. In left order, position, frequency. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so now, okay, because this was kind of like the necessary theory I had to give you in order so we could get to practice, right? Because it's like, look, when you're freestyling, you, uh, and these are some um, interviews I did with Gene Gray and Talib Kweli. Actually, here's that interview uh, that I did with Kweli where you can find uh, what I was talking about. So you'll, you'll, and I'll be referring to these constantly, so you might as well um, read them now. So, so uh, let me look up a good Chance the Rapper freestyle. Um, awful lot. Uh, because it's like, it's like we're talking about a good, off, uh, a good freestyle that I heard was on um, Sway in the Morning, Luke Piasco. Oh, did he? Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, uh, Five Fingers of Death. Oh, that uh, one? Okay. Yeah, you should know. You should know. Um, those freestyles aren't really off the top. Sweat. So in both of them are. Oh, morning, but, but like you don't morning. know what beats are coming, right? What? Oh, oh, this one is off the top. Yeah, this one is oh, off okay. the top. Oh, okay. 99% of them are not. But this one really is off the top. And, oh. he, and you can see it because he, he fucks up once in a while. And, oh, really? Uh, That's crazy, though. Um, yeah, have you ever seen... The, there's actually a documentary all about freestyling. Have you seen Freestyle, The Art of Rhyme? No. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all about freestyling. So you can see, like, most deaf freestyling, a whole bunch of other people. Oh, sorry, that actually, that's a dead link. Um, but yeah, let me, let me, uh, so honestly, it might even sound like something, I don't know if you can stream it for free online, but it sounds like something you would absolutely, uh, be yeah. but, but yeah, it's just an entire documentary about freestyling. And so you can see, like, most deaf freestyling. Um, so let, let me check out this Lupe. DJ Wonder, a freestyle. I'm a freestyle. I don't know how to. I don't. I'll be back. Jigga, jigga, jigga. Sway in the morning, shade four five. Uh, now. Yes, yes. And none as I rap is. Yeah. I attempt these as I go berserk and move curses, move curses. How it does it? And everybody wanna know exactly what was it? Mm. Were you at the inauguration, Luke Bay? I don't know, that sounds faker than a toothpaste. The line was kinda whack, and it was kinda subtle, but I had to bubble up. She got a bubble, but I like looking, but I don't like hooking. I be in the crack spot cooking, or was I? That may be rumor two. I got a tumor two on the mission. Introduce 
the young boy, West Side. That's crazy. I can't believe he does that, man. That's nuts. Okay, good, good, because... Yeah, yeah, because what I'm going to say then for you is, okay, well, neither of us are fucking Lupe Fiasco. I think we can uh, accept that. So what I was going to say was uh, start freestyling first, uh, first without a beat, right? Because a beat is like your countdown clock that you always have to be meeting, right? But if you take away the beat, you know, because then it just becomes more and more awkward if you're not saying anything. But if you're the one who sets the beat, and this kind of brings us to the practice part of it, um, not the theory part of it, it's like, if you're the one who sets the beat, well then, you're the one who controls the countdown clock, right? So just imagine if you could, like, press stop on the clock and be like, no, we're pausing here for a little bit. Um, because, yeah, it's really hard to freestyle just over a beat. But if you're the one who, who's doing it on your own, then that would be... Um, a lot easier, right? Because the crowd, the crowd doesn't know when you're gonna um, the rapper early freestyle. Uh, the crowd doesn't know when you're gonna pause, and it just doesn't know what you're going um, to do next. So if you pause and there's no beat, the crowd doesn't know whether or not that was part of your plan. But if you pause and there is a beat, then the crowd knows that that wasn't part of your plan, so you look bad. Um, so, so, and since the rapper has a freestyle, I don't, it, it says this is off the dome. Oh, Omega. Omega, man. Oh, James. Nah, this is Sorry, hold on. He come with the paper stack. If you wanna come and nigga, you better. Uh, oh yeah, this one, okay. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Von Mo. I'm sitting here downtown with some artists. Uh, I'm gonna hit a cypher and shit, so. Let's do this. Yo! Alright, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You know who Chance the Rapper is, right? Yeah, yeah. He He looks so young. And so, um, this is a freestyle of him when he was apparently, like, in high school. Um, and he just looks like he should still be in a crib or a bassinet or something. Um, but yeah, here's that IMDB. Oh, I sent it to you already. Alright, so let's talk a little bit, because he's freestyling here. And as far as I can tell... Yeah, I don't know if it's off the top or not, but that's not what's important. What's important here is that there isn't a beat. Um, so, you can, you can hear this, right? I'm playing it. I'm off the nog. I'm off the loco. I'm off the kodo. I'm I'm off the nog. Okay, this is definitely, he's coming off with it live. Because, like you said, he's, make, he's making, um... Mistakes, right? Kind of like Lupe was. I'm off the nog. I'm off the loco. I'm off that local. I'm on that global. I often have dreams of being locked in my mama's Volvo. Watching the garage burn down. I'm off the Kodo. I'm off the top. I'm off Ciroc. I'm off the pot. I'm off a lot. They gave me 10 days off. That's an awful lot. I was off campus, but the officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Yeah, I said that. I'm sorry. See, okay, like that was for what he's trying to do. That was pretty perfect, right? Um, so right. let's talk about it a little bit because this is the thing. When you don't have to work with a beat, you just wanna you wanna stack the deck in your favor as much as possible. Just like make success easy, man. You know, like don't don't go over the top because, like I was saying before, it does not take a lot. You know, like, it's other kinds of art forms and musics that you have to be over the top, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, like, metal, uh, hair rock, some forms of classical music, right? But in rap, people just want to hear you, you know? They just want to see you rap, so don't ask for too much. So let's break it down, right? So obviously, so let's talk about how Chance stacks the deck in his favor in this. So first, there's no beat, right? That's pretty right. obvious for the reasons, and that's a good idea to do for the reasons I've already, um, his use uh, of the word, um, for the reasons I've already described. The second thing is probably his use of the word off, right? Because off is a really flexible word. It's an acrobatic word. It's a word that can do tons of things, you know? And this is another, so while you're thinking about rhymes in this way, I also want you to think of words in this way. Like off, when I run into a word like off in my lyrics when I'm writing. So this is how the process works. Let's just say I'm writing and I'm like, oh, I decided to take some time off. 
I like thank the Lord that I see the word off there. It's like a good friend has just dropped by to tell me hello. And it off is like waving to me and it's like, hey Martin, what's up? I can do whatever the hell you need me to. Because it, it's a word that has many different definitions. You know, and that is a good way that to know whether or not a word is really important to you. You know, so like another way is if it's a uh, sound in English that gets used a lot. So as chance proved, off it off turns up everywhere. Turn off the lights. Um, off the grid. They gave me time off. That's an awful lot. Um, you're looking awfully uh, beautiful today. You know, so it just shows up everywhere. So these are the things you want to do. And I mean, English has tons of words like these, which is why rap started in English. You know, rap couldn't have started in French because. France ha literally has a government institution that decrees what is okay to say and what's not, you know. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but, like, they say, so, like, even though normal French people say email, they say the French Academy says you have to say uh, Le Courrier Electronique or whatever. So that's why, like, it can't work in French. But in English, so, there are other words like these, like two, right? Two, don't yeah. you? Yeah. It, it, you know, Jay Z has twenty two twos, I think. It's Jay Z yeah. has twenty two twos. And oh yeah, and it's all it's all off of okay, yeah, or so two more afterwards, right? Yeah. And, and, or or uh, even a sound like uh you know, it because you're like, um I'm going to a con I'm going to a concert. Uh but then it's like um uh y y even right there. Yeah. Concert something it's something uh, under all, yeah, the us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what you're trying to do, though, is just find these useful words, you know? Almost like hollow, like we were talking about before. Because hollow, hollow man, hollow something that's uh, empty. Hollow gram, hollow again. Or like in the hollow. hollow. Tomorrow. Yeah, sleepy, tomorrow. sleepy hollow. Um, yeah, so all these things, right? So his use of the word off. His no beat, um, and then also three, uh, all of his pauses, right? I'm off Ciroc, I'm off Mama's Volvo, I'm on that global, oh no, now I'm tweeting. <laughs> I'm off the nog. Pause. I'm off the nog. Pause. I'm off the loco. Pause. He's thinking. I'm off that local. I'm Pause. on that global. Pause. I often have dreams of being locked in my mama's Volvo. Pause. Watching the garage burn down. I'm off the Kodo. I'm off the top. I'm off Ciroc. I'm off the pot. And then I'm he off the lot. They gave me 10 days off. That's, That's an, awful an awful lot. lot. I was off campus, but the officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Nice. Okay. So, so all of his pauses, right? Because when you pause, and if you're just confident, and that's where your delivery comes across, then it, then the crowd doesn't know. They're like, oh, he's pausing on purpose. You know, like it's it, it's like a well worked play in basketball, um, with a little bit of improv to it. So, so, and and there are even other things to this, right? Because I think chance, and this is what good freestylers do. Like when they come to a freestyle, they have a whole what what should I call this? Um. A toolbox of reliable lines is how I would put it. Like, Chance just has lines in his head, you know? So so that whole... So, and I think you can tell when he starts hitting the um, those final lines he comes up with. Where he's like, they gave me ten days off. I was an aw awful lot. And then the lineup at the policeman. I'm off the Kodo. I'm off the top. I'm off Ciroc. I'm off the pot. I'm off a lot. They gave me ten days off. That's an awful lot. I was off campus, but the... See, and he even does it again with lot. Right? Because lot can be like a lawn. Lot can be like a ton of things. Um, uh, and how else does he use it? I'm off lot. Sir told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Or parking lot. Parking lot. Yeah, right. And then he comes up with officer. The officer told him, I, the, wait, what was it? The officer told the office, even though I was off the lot. Top. I'm off Ciroc. I'm off the pot. I'm off the lot. They gave me 10 days off. That's an awful lot. I was off campus, but the officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Okay, I, yeah, that line. I was off the campus. The officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Yeah, but the officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot. Yeah, okay. So this line, like, this line is like, yeah, man, but, like, Chance is a really good effing rapper, uh, but this was six years ago, you know? And so his friends would have given a heads up. They would have been like, yo, man, we're shooting this video next week downtown, I want you to freestyle, 
And so he would have just written some lines, you know. So so when he starts off, I'm off the nog, you know, off the noggin, coming off the top. Um, right. Then maybe like that part is freestyled, but he's just got these lines, you know, and the, and there should just be like words that like when you see them, they like jump out at you. Um, so someone, um, it was really funny. Uh, someone once said, you know how Pablo Picasso did a whole series of paintings in gray. Um, Pablo Picasso. So it was oh studies in gray. I think it was called. Um, so someone once suggested, I thought it was really funny, th that, uh, damn it, uh, gossip. First edition where you said that is Counting Crows, uh, yeah. this is rock, right? Yeah, damn, uh, okay, I need, okay, well, whatever, imagine a, imagine a painting where a painter only paints with one color, you know, and right. they're trying to get everything they can out of that color. This is how you should think of words, right? Because this person suggested that the word spaghetti, that Eminem's whole career is like a study in the word spaghetti. Because he's rhymed it so many different ways. And it really is, like, it's just like, I don't know, man. You know how, like, movie makers still shoot in black and white even though we've had color for, like, 70 years? It's just that, yeah. that that makes things so interesting. But, like, spaghetti can be that way, too, right? Because it is just such a fucking juicy word. Uh, sp, eh, and e. Those are, like, the most common vowel sounds in all of English. You know, even the schwa vowel sound, um... Uh, it, I mean, it communicates, think of the word, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I, like, let's say, like, I'm a go to the score. What that's really saying is, I'm going to go to the score. So, so for the single sound, uh, to represent going to, that's like a whole lot of information contained in just one vowel, right? So that's why spaghetti is such a good word. So, spa, everything rhymes with uh, everything rhymes with eh. You know, bet, uh, set, uh, debt. You I, you can just throw consonants at the start of them, and, and they'll come up with something. Right. And then E is easy enough, right? So so these are all of the ways in which um, Chance has really stacked the deck in his favor. You know, like, yeah, Chance did it, but the, yes, Chance was the one who came up with these really good ideas. But if he had told another rapper about these really good ideas... Anyone could have knocked this freestyle out of the park. They could have just been like, um, the officer told the, the off, I was off the campus, but the officer told the office that he saw me from the parking lot, you know, and it's like awful lot, off the pot. So, so this is like how you should think of structuring your freestyles, right? Because it's, it, it's the big picture. You need, you need to take, t take your time and take your breaths and then, Stack, stack the deck in your favor in the ways we've been talking about by, like, picking a word to center around a, a freestyle around. Because that's essentially what he did, right? P pick, pick a word to center your freestyle around. So even, like, free. I mean, free. Freely. It wasn't free. I mean, what's the famous, um... Uh, free can be, uh... You know... There's lots of stuff that you can go with. Free, free uh... Free goes along with it. it's like a tree or uh, I don't know. see I get stumped once in a while. Yeah, yeah, tree. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you can even go. If we we're talking about French, like uh, you know, uh, is it free because of French ain't or free? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But but, but like to, so, focus on on the sound free though. Don't focus on the rhymes with free. Focus on the word free because it's that kind of wordplay that people have to slow their minds down to understand. I mean, you and I even had to listen to it two or three times to really get what Chance was saying, right? Because yeah, his wordplay was so chopped. And that's that's how you create good rhymes, by, like, mixing up the listeners' minds in, like, a playground that they have to constantly go over. So even now, even while I'm talking to you, I'm still trying to parse Chance's rhymes. Because yeah, we did, yeah, 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 because what did he say? I'm off Ciroc. You know, so he's saying, I'm drunk. I drank Ciroc. Um, I'm off right. the pot. Let's say that means he kicked his marijuana <laughs> habit. He's not on pot anymore. Um, I'm off a lot. So then he's saying, like, it's not just drugs that get me high. It's rap. It's music. It's everything. Um, they gave me 10 days off. That's an awful lot. <laughs> you know? So, so it's like, 
Uh, they gave me 10 days vacation. That's an awful lot. So, so, so w when you go into a freestyle, you know, you got to know what these words are. You got to know what these important words are. All free, off, to, um, e even really, even something like tea, you know, because that's like golf tea or it's like tea that, that you drink or even, you know, tea is an old word for marijuana. If you ever read On the Road with um, Jack Kerouac, they call it tea. They don't call it weed or marijuana. Um, tea, uh, tea, like tea off on something, you know, which is a turn of phrase. Then it's, so, so it's like when you, so like these are like the kinds of things you need to know so that when you come along to them, you understand how much you can get out of them is what I'm trying to say, you know. And, th and then you can start going to it. So, so we can talk about, um, and as far as, like, rhyming and not recreating the same system of rhymes over and over, because really good rap verses work by constantly changing their rhyme scheme. Um, that, but then just try to do the opposite of what you're doing. So, you know, so, so like, let's go back to what we were, we were doing before. You, you, service. And you, you rang off a whole, a whole slew of rhymes off service, right? And you said service, nervous, and purpose, right? And, and so those are all really good rhymes because that's a nice rhyme. You know, it's two syllables. It's, it's on the more uncommon side. Um, you know, it's not like no way in Jose or whatever. Um, but so for purpose, service, and nervous. But the thing you did was, oh, oh parsing those real quick in my mind, those were all two syllable rhymes at the end of your sentences. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, right? So, 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 so now just try to do the opposite. So, like, uh, put it at the start of your sentence, you know. And this is what you have to do. You have to work on these things consciously until they became suck second nature. So instead of saying, let's just say, like, I did my military service. I felt that it was a good purpose. Let's just work with that right now. Now turn it right. around. Uh, the purpose of my... So this would be like the purpose of my life is to study rap music. The right. service of my life is to study rap music, you know. And honestly, dude, like from that, the rest of the freestyle has written itself, right? Because it's like, be, because what works here is like, yeah, I've repeated the same sentences from one to the next. But it's like, yeah, okay, everyone has a purpose. the whole meaning about it. Yeah, right. exactly, yeah. Because like, oh, the purpose of your life, well, that's cool. And I would want to know what that is, but like, if you say that you're in service to something, then it becomes like, oh my god, he's like a fucking priest of rap or whatever, you know, right. and, and, and people listen and take up and, and notice it, and so then, this is what Chance did, right, and th so he kind of like came up with a basic idea like this, and then he started changing one thing little by little, so like, the service of my life is to study rap music, the service of my life is to study rap, use it, you know, j just like, and so then he starts... Right. And cadence, right? Yeah. And I can do this because, like, there's no beat behind me, right? And so, again, and this should show you, man, I've changed, what, four words over the course of those, I mean, let's just call it three bars. Um, but, and I've changed four words, and yet it really fucking works, because that's all, that's all it takes, you know? You have to be able, because, you know, you know, like, what, what did I say before? You have to be able, in order to make good rap, you have to be able to have rhymes and to have a good delivery. So it seems really simple. So then you have to ask yourself, well, what makes Kanye West so fucking good then? And the idea, the answer is that rappers like Kanye West and Chance, they don't un understand only how they hear their music. They understand how we hear their music. And that's really what it comes down to. When it's like, Kanye can lead you down this path of, I mean, dude, run, run away, you know, from my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, uh, is, uh, dude, it's like a nine minute song, man. And there are like four verses on it. And you have to ask, dude, nine minutes of music is a really long time. And no one ever complained about it. No one ever complained about it. So, but the whole time, Kanye is like, he, I, I kind of imagine like he's got us by the hand and he's leading us down this path and he's like, Oh, check out this auto tune. Oh yeah, listen to this rhyme. Oh yeah, isn't it cool how I ended my rhyme scheme early here? Oh yeah, now now we're gonna go to the chorus. Oh, you thought Pusha T's verse was over, but it's not over. Oh, and now here we're we're gonna do a solo instrumental, which will remind you of the Bonnie Bear uh, guitar solos from the earlier song, uh, like Devil uh, in a New Dress or whatever. And then you think it's over, but actually I'm gonna add this counter melody, and then we're gonna add the piano part back in and you thought we started on the first beat because most things start on the first beat but we start on the third beat 
And so Kanye knows music so well that he knows how you know it. And that is what brings us here. So like, right. so, so now for like your, for, try to set up a freestyle in this way. You know, maybe it would be best to kind of take um, baby steps towards truly free spontaneity. But just to be like, sit down, be like, okay, and, and maybe record yourself so we can go over it. But just be like, okay, for the next 30 minutes, I'm going to record whatever I come up with. And then... I have two questions now. So what I would ask you, when I record myself, yeah. you know, tools, okay? What tools should I be using? I and mean, it's like, how should I record myself? Like certain mics that you would suggest or doesn't matter, uh, recording uh, software, whatever, anything. Yeah. Yeah. And mind you, I really am taking this seriously. It's like, I'm not going to go out and buy Pro Tools right now, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And honestly, like, you don't even need... Pro Tools, unless you have, unless you're tr unless you're running a studio that you rent out to other people. But I mean, for me, it really doesn't take much. Once again, on the technological front, so for me, like I mean, I I type my rhymes out on the computer just because I have awful handwriting, and I go through like seven or eight different versions of the same verse before I land on it. Um, so so that's what you can work with. I know you know. So obviously, something to write with. Uh, I know people who write on their iPhones, but then, like, in terms of a microphone, yeah, man, it, like, just, you know, um, you probably need, unless it's something you can connect directly to your computer, you probably need a MIDI interface, uh, but, but by now, I'm sure they probably have good microphones that can plug into a Windows or a Mac. Yeah, like, recommendation that you'd say, it's like, yeah, alright, let's not go off the top with the, yeah, let's not go... Really Over top end five hundred dollar mic, but you know I think I'll do the hundred dollar range or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would have to look up what my microphone is because honestly, my microphone functions. Yeah, dude. Okay, because the microphone isn't important. The, the the important part of it is the production process. Once you've got the audio down, I mean, I know this guy Jonah. Um, he's a rapper who raps under the name The Mole. He can make it sound like amazing, but that's all software stuff, you know. So software I use is Logic. But if you're not gonna be doing any producing and mixing and beat making. Then, oh, I do want to go down that route. It's a, all right, just like uh, you know, another two seconds. But yeah. I, I tend to jump from topic to topic, and I study that topic and get really good at it. Uh, yeah. In, in a couple of years, so it's like yeah, yeah. I was into photography for a while. I, you know, learned everything about it. I actually, became a photographer for a subsidiary yeah. of National Geographic and stuff like that. And you know, I like learning that. So I like the tools. I like learning how to do them. So for me. Music, yeah, I want to learn uh, how to, you know, freestyle, then uh, write the lyrics, the delivery, everything. Okay. I also want to learn how to produce, like, beats. Okay, and yeah, yeah, and what kind of computer you ha do you have? Because you can't have Logic on a Windows. I'm on uh, Windows. Okay, yeah, then that would be Ableton, uh, is what I've seen a whole bunch of people use. Um, I mean, Mike Will, you know, if you've ever go on Rap Genius, they have these videos where producers explain how they make their beats. And my, or maybe it was London on the track, but he um, he uses Ableton, and it sounds amazing. Uh, but but yeah, yeah, you don't need a mic because most of that stuff is done in production. If you're on Windows, use Ableton and something to write with. And then just record everything, you know, because um, I don't know how much of a problem kind of, what would you say, like self-censorship would be or maybe perfectionism. But right now, we kind of just want to capture all of it. So like, Oh, yeah, I'm definitely. Okay, yeah, yeah. So just try to capture all of it right now then. Just hit record and eventually you will forget that record is on and then you will start coming up with the best stuff um, you have so far. So yeah, so just like 30 minutes, you know, that's a pretty manageable time frame. Pick a word and then just do everything with that word. You know, just put it through all of its paces. R try to figure out every definition of that word. Um, try to figure out every other word that contains that word, you know, uh, like, like um, Chance did with Awful Lot. And then, and then try to make these connections, right? And I can show you how this happened, because right now I'm working on a song that, um, it's like, uh, you know, garden path sentences, like sentences that start one way. So it's like time flies like, a, uh, time flies like an arrow, fruit flies like a banana. You know, you know that one? Okay. I've heard that one, yeah. Yeah, okay, but yeah, but you see what's weird that happened there? Time flies like an yeah. arrow, fruit flies like a banana, right? Right. At first you thought fr fruit was the noun, and then and that in the second sentence flies was like, oh, the fruit is flying like a banana, but then you realize bananas don't fly, so then you have to go back, and it's like, oh, fruit flies. Is the oh, yeah, now I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It flies like a banana. Yeah, 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 but time flies like an arrow, right? Because time 
fleas like an hour. Well, I, yeah. So I'm I'm making a rap out of all these things, right? And so what I had to do is um, do what that sentence did, and what that relies on is homophones, right? Uh, because like and like and flies and flies, you know, fly the insect and fly the verb to have wings or whatever is um those are homophones. So so I was doing all these things and I ma I looked up a list of homophone English words. And so some of the ones uh two of the ones I found were sun and sun and rain and rain and prince and prince. And so th this became really easy to me because I was like, "Oh, well sun and rain that's easy. I mean, because sun goes with rain so easily. Like, how many poetic, you know, what would you say, aphorisms are, are based off of sun and rain? You know, like, oh, it's always sunniest right before the rain or whatever. Or, like, you got to get through the rain so you can get through the sun. You know, and then prince and prince, well, that's really easy. Because the sun, a prince is the son of a king who reigns. So right there, I mean, that, that's like the whole, that's exactly the idea I was trying to get to. So, so once you're able to create these poetic... So, so that's how I knew that these homophones absolutely had to be in the verse. Uh, and eventually I came up with this... Um, maybe I can look it up uh, real quick. I came up with a complicated... Uh, and I'm still working on it. Uh, I came up with a complicated um, homophone that, that used like a whole bunch... Uh, let me see if it's in here. A, a whole bunch of those things. Like, come on, dog. I'm trying to... Prince... Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I would have to look it up to find it a little. But, but yeah, just sit down, 30 minutes, start with a good word, and then work towards it. Just start rhyming things, and eventually you will be able to connect it to the stories you want to tell of your own life. And then from there, you know, you, you start to put the free, together the freestyle. And in putting the freestyle together, you'll come up with these lines that you really love. And then you know whenever you go to a new freestyle to find some way to introduce that line. And then it becomes like a network, uh, almost like a net to catch you, you know, in setting yourself up for success in these different ways. And, and then since I haven't really heard you actually rap yet, next time that'll be good. Because then we can talk more about delivery um, and stuff like that. Uh, t to touch on it real quickly... Um, uh, Sorry. Yeah, and then um, th this is what Jean Grey told me, and it was really uh, important. She was just saying everyone has a different way of flowing. Uh, so, so read those interviews too, uh, parse those rhyme schemes in those four different songs, and try to do at least like two freestyle sessions like that. And that sounds like a lot, but but I mean, I think you're really That's not a lot at all. Okay. Uh, my intention is to actually put at least an hour a day at this. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, then just do a whole bunch of freestyle sessions, and we can go over it more next time, okay? Cool. Sound good? Cool. All right, yeah, just email uh, me. Uh, just so you know, yeah. uh, I was on your site, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just wrapping up. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, for some reason, when I would, I go to the drop-down menu of rap analysis, it's like when my mouse goes down on it, it just hides. Oh, it disappears? Ah, uh, that's annoying. No, I'm seeing that now. Yeah, and the reason that's happening is because actually my web developer friend right now is working on it. So, so kind of it's just under maintenance for the next... Um... Yeah, that's cool. It's totally cool. I just want to let you know. Just okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I directly linked you those interviews, so that should be straight. But yeah, oh, yeah, that is effing annoying. I don't know. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'll have to fix that. Yeah, thanks for the tip, man. Sure. All right, yeah, sure. and then just let me know when you want to meet again. Probably in a week from now. Uh, what days? I mean, what times are good for you? It's like right now. It's about five p.m. where I live. Yeah. Um. That's uh. This is a pretty good time. Could you do more like ten? Like start 10, at 10? ten. Ten p.m. my end or ten p.m. your end? Uh, ten a.m. my end. So an hour after we met today. That's like five p.m. my end. Yeah. And then we can do it for an hour. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that sometimes. Like it depends if I have to get back to my daughter or not. Oh, then, oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah, I mean, if nine a.m. works for you, it's it's not it's not that it works. Ten is cool. Ten is cool. Also, most of the time, ten is going to be cool. Uh, once in a while, I'll have to do. Okay. Like, a yeah. Nine yeah. Just let me know then. And um, I think you didn't schedule a new lesson yet, right? You have to pick the no, time. I haven't. I haven't. I'll okay. schedule it. Uh, I'll, I'll look at my schedule. See if I need to be in any meetings or not, and then uh, I'll schedule it around that. Okay, perfect. Thanks yeah, so much. Days or does it uh, not um, I, I like to meet later in the week, like Thursday and Friday. Cool. So Thursdays and Fridays are really good. For okay. Me. Perfect. All right.
All right, sweet. Thanks so much, man. I'll talk to you later, all right? Talk to you. Bye. Bye.